So many sites to post pics and post comments and make your friends say, holy smokes like Robin. Your post live forever, that's a long time. So don't overshare when you go online, yeah. Your digital footprint will stick with you. So stop and think before you post that pic, that pic, that pic, that pic. In this video, we're going to be looking at navigating the Grenada SDA Comprehensive Schools Learning Management System for both teachers and students. So this video would focus on getting your way around or finding your way around the platform whether you are a teacher or a student. First of all, we look at the um, top left hand corner. We have the GSD CS LMS button. Once clicked, this is going to take us back to the main or the home page of the LMS. On the home page, we have the subject join section where um, a teacher can provide students with a particular code which they call the subject code this code once placed in this box by the student and hit join and they hit this join button automatically that student ends up in the teacher's subject All right just below this we have the dashboard calendar tutorials all subjects my grades and mobile app the dashboard once clicked gives you a layout of the subjects that you are part of and it also on the right hand side gives you a timeline letting you know that these are some of the activities that are due now or you can um, attempt right now like your exams your assignments etc and it would also give you an idea as to what are some of the upcoming activities that needs to be completed you can select how many of them you want to be shown at a time by clicking the show button here and changing the number accordingly it also gives you an idea as to who are the online users at this moment if we come a little further down we can see the calendar section there that gives us the upcoming dates for the different activities and exams all right so once the calendar is clicked this would simply give us the same information as we have on the dashboard section right here it gives us upcoming activities um, exams lessons etc and it places them in the different boxes for those particular dates all right and again once you want to get back to the main screen you can click on GSDA CS LMS button up at the left here and this will take you back to the main screen all right um tutorial section once you hit this button it will take you to the uh, links to the uh, tutorials that have, have been created for this platform on YouTube all right we also have the all subject section once this is clicked you notice that the different departments are listed here so if you want to find a particular subject in a department of course you have to be part of that subject um, you can simply click on the department for example if you are part if you have subjects that you're doing in the science department you can click on science and it would give you the different subject areas that um, are part of the science department all right, the my grade section once this is clicked it takes you to your different subjects and it would give you an idea as to the grades that you have been assigned based on the activities exams lessons etc resources that you have actually completed um, the grades would be assigned to you there so for example if i click on English B Form 3, the grades for the prose, better, essay writing, etc. would be available here. Of course, this is a test user, so we're not going to see any grades assigned to that particular student. All right, the mobile app, um, there is a link for you to download the mobile app um, right here. If you click it, it says for Android mobile, mobile users, visit the Google Play Store and you can click on this link here to download the app. All right, if we move a little bit further down, we can see a list of the subjects that this particular student who is logged in is enrolled in or is part of. And let's look at each subject block. The name of the subject, the category that it's in, English B, and there is a completion bar right below this area there that tells you how far you are 
or how much you have completed um, in this particular subject. So for example, if you have 10 assignments to do and the 10 assignments would make up the 100% completion in that particular subject, then so far this user has done 33% of what they're supposed to do. So, so there are some additional work to be done, all right? Now, sometimes the completion would not be seen until particular dates reach. So the teachers would allow students to actually complete the activities and assignments and so on on particular dates. And as fast as they're completing these activities and so on on these dates, then the completion and bar would move up okay um we can also or a student can also click on the name of the subject and that would take them directly to that particular subject the activities and resources and so on that have been uploaded onto the platform for this particular subject area or in this particular subject area all right so let's look at navigating the top of the um LMS we look at we already looked at clicking on this GSD ACS LMS button which takes us back to the home page and then we have the my subject section here where you can simply click and you have a drop down menu with a list of the subjects that you are part of or you have been enrolled in um, any of these links here can be clicked and it will take you directly to that particular subject so once you have selected the drop down for my subjects and you click on any one of the subjects there that you are enrolled in you have your activities and uh, resources your exams etc that would have been posted by the teacher of that particular subject and you can access any one of them okay this little button up here and you would only see this when you are on a particular subject once you click on the subject dashboard this gives you um, an overview of uh, who your teacher is for that particular subject you can email that teacher you can send a message to that teacher um, on the left you're going to see your grades section another link to your grades another shortcut to your grades and under the activities section if you click on assignments this would show you some of the assignments that you have to complete whether you have completed them or whether you have not submitted them etc right and um, the topics are here and these are the different assignments under those topics you also have the exam section where once you click this you would see what are the exams you have either outstanding or um, completed then we have a forum section here this would bring you to um, the section for that particular subject if there are any forums that was created by your teacher for that particular subject you can simply um, access it there's the GSDACS cloud room which is an online conference room for teachers and students to um, interact using live sessions right so once you click this this gives you the live sessions which are scheduled or have already passed for you and last but not least these are your resources here so if you click on this it would show you um, whatever pages whatever notes files etc that have been uploaded um, some teachers would have uploaded notes using PDF documents Word documents they may have just put the information on a page on the LMS for you so this would show up in this section and of course underneath here you have your progress bar that's going to tell you how far you are in this subject or in other words your completion progress this would give you a percentage the percentage would tell you how much you have completed in this particular subject um, just to the right of this we have the my file section very important to especially um, some of our students who are doing SPEs and so on now. If you do not have your Google Drive and your OneDrive and so on to store your files for safekeeping, then you can use this section here. The My File section on the LMS would allow you to upload your files. You can put them, of course, in folders. And once they are uploaded, you can simply access them from anywhere once you have an internet connection 
all right you can create your folders and then upload your files into those folders and access them using the app or you can access them using the LMS um, on a laptop or desktop computer okay so we have the announcement section this section allows for students and teachers to view or listen to if there is audio or read if there is text or um, information posted as it relates to announcements so if a teacher wants to make some announcements to a particular um, group of students they can simply create those announcements and it would show up in this section here for those particular students in that particular subject then we have the tutorials section where we can see a link to the YouTube channel that is hosting the video tutorials for the students for both students and teachers as it relates to using the learning management system then we have a section here for our notifications when clicked you would see a list of the notifications that you have that have been sent to you um, regarding your different subject areas and these notifications would simply let you know okay you have a upcoming assignment um, you have an incomplete exam etc so this button here would allow you to view that if you have read all of the notifications and you want to remove them from there you can simply click the mark all as read here all right right next to this is the chat button if you click on that button it would allow you to open up the chat drawer where you can see your group chats and your private chats so if you are part of a subject and the teacher wants to get information over to all of the students who are part of that class and or subject they can simply create a group chat and send um, messages through this medium all right a little further down you have the private chat where you can send information to individual persons who are in your contact list all right a little to the right of this we're going to see the full name of um, the persons who are logged in whether you're a student or teacher and just a little further to the right we're going to see a carrot there that um, allows us to click and there is a drop down menu um, the dashboard of course is there a shortcut to the dash dashboard then we have the profile section here if we click this this would give us a uh, little information on the person who is logged in their profile things like the subjects they are part of their email address um, their reports and so on so there is a, a shortcut here to their grades and so forth right then of course there is the grades section you can simply click this and take you to the different subject areas and once you click on these subject areas it would give you an overview of your grades don't forget I'm using a test user here so there wouldn't be any grades assigned to this test user all right and for example in this subject the teacher has set up the different sections they are going to put their activities exams assignments etc on there. so once these activities are created there would be an option for the teacher to select under which section they would like for these activities to be graded and once they insert those activities exams etc it would automatically do its grading and give you the result all right then there is the messages section um, this actually launches the same message draw that you have up here it wouldn't launch it in a draw this time it would simply launch it on the entire page so you have more space to type and read the messages on the preferences section this gives you options to edit your profile change your password etc and then of course there is a logout link right here once you click this you would be logged out of the learning management system okay so this basically is an overview of the um, interface that a student would be exposed to on the Grenada SDA comprehensive schools learning management system thank you for watching and see you in the next video post smart don't overshare when you go online a message on digital citizenship from the Grenada SDA comprehensive system